Um, all right, so I want to tell you a joke, Jeff. Okay. Uh, and I have to use an Irish accent to do it. <clears throat> so it seems there was this man <laughs> in a pub uh, sitting and drinking all the night away. Uh, and at one point, he gets up and he falls flat on his face. Everyone goes, oh, oh, Bagash Gura. <laughs> Are you all right? Can we get you, can we get you uh, assistance uh, beyond us saying, are you all right? Uh, she says, I, I'll be fine. He gets up. He walks, walks to the door. He opens the door. His, his legs give out and he just falls down again. Oh! Oh, oh, we asked you the first time. How many times is this going to happen? Pro probably three. I bet three. He says, I'll be fine. He gets up again. I just need to get home. He's, he's walking. Oh, shit, he's crawling, isn't he? He has to crawl. He can't walk, can he? <laughs> Blit. Well, 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 well okay, let me, let, okay. I, can, I can pull this through. I can okay, pull this through. Okay, okay. He gets up, he walks home, he gets to his porch, falls down again, flat on his face. Uh, his neighbor is uh, uh, cooling a pie in the window, so he sees it, says, Are you okay, Seamus? Uh, I'll be fine. Rick, Rick, Rick. I just got to get to my bed. Goes upstairs, goes to bed, falls asleep. Uh, wakes up the next morning. His wife says, You've been out drinking again, haven't you? Uh, well, how do you know that, Natalie? Uh, <clears throat> she says, Because you, uh, you're normally in a wheelchair, <laughs> which you left at the bar, and you're so drunk you were able to walk. <laughs> which is physically um, uh, inspiring, but... Spiritually and psychologically troubling because you have to get pretty darn drunk to, to, to mitigate the effects of a neurological condition. The reason you can't walk is, is not, it's not psychological. It's not a Disney movie. It's, it's, it's not Downton Abbey. This is, this is a real thing. It won't heal you. The doctor showed us the, the, you, you were injured in an NRA uh, explosion. <laughs> Shrapnel cleaved your spinal cord. It's physical. I can show you the x-ray. She got it out of the drawer. Says, look, there's a disconnection between the brain that makes things happen and the limbs that in, in, in enact the, the desires. There's no way for it to get through. You got so drunk, your thoughts leapt across your spine and landed in the right place like a Tron cycle and, 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 and raced to your drunken feet and you propelled yourself, though not 100% effectively, but still astonishingly so, until you got home and passed out. Now try to walk again. And he does and he can't. He's like, I can't even move my legs. I'm, I'm crippled. Uh, uh, and she says, you mean physically challenged. And he says, well, what, what, what are you, uh, the word police? And uh, she says, well, someone has to be. A filthy-mouthed old cow. And she made him some tea, and uh, you know he 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 apologized. But at this point, it's a cycle. Uh, I don't know. That didn't turn out as planned, did it? <laughs>